Hello friends, today we are going to discuss our medical discussion episode number 39. Today our topic is summer health care. Sir, my first question is to you that how, uh, what are the common problems that can be encountered during summer season? So obviously it's a very uh, important topic as summer is approaching and uh, the temperature is rising a lot of problems we encounter during the summer season and there are certain diseases which are very common uh, during the summer season but the most risky population who are uh, uh, who are more exposed to these diseases are the babies as well as the elderly population and those people who are suffering from various chronic diseases like diabetes hypertension and the people who are bedridden because of some other problems so some of the very common problems which we can encounter during the summer season uh, are number one is the heat intolerance this is a condition where a person is intolerant to heat or he feels excessive heat uh, in a condition or in a temperature when others are not feeling that heat so the heat tolerance it is very commonly encountered in population who are taking certain medications certain stimulant medications like amphetamines or a person who take excessive tea, coffee or other caffeinated drinks. Heat intolerance is also seen in persons who are uh, suffering from certain medical conditions like hyperthyroidism or a person or a female patient who is attain, who has attained menopause. So these are some of the common problems which uh, usually causes heat intolerance. In heat tolerance, the most important treatment is to increase the fluid intake. The second most common problem is the heat exhaustion. It usually occurs because of the decreased uh, water uh, in our body and uh, the excessive amount of salt in our body. Normally, whenever the amount of water in the body goes down or a person becomes dehydrated, there is excessive exhaustion. He feels tired, uh, he feels excessive sweating or he becomes irritated. So this is a uh, common condition uh, because of uh, actually dehydration and because of increased in the salt in the body the same treatment goes uh, in this condition also that is to increase the fluid intake the next common is the heat uh, cramp actually whenever the amount of water in the muscle goes down the, there is excessive cramping of the muscle excessive stretching of the muscles because of which a person becomes unable even, uh, to work unable to do his common activities so this is also a common condition where uh, the amount of electrolyte amount of fluid intake need to be increased and uh, ultimately the most dangerous condition is the heat stroke actually there is a uh, area in the brain which is known as hypothalamus that that regulates the temperature in our body sometimes there is dysfunction in this uh, hypothalamus either because of various medical conditions or because of certain nerve problems so uh, if a person has recurrent stroke then also he can have dysfunction of the hypothalamus so whenever the uh, body can't regulate the temperature there is excessive increase in the body temperature which can lead to altered sensorium of the person excessive heating decreased sweating or a person can have seizures so this is a dangerous condition which can even lead to the death of a person whenever you see a person unconscious or excessive body temperature it's important to cool down the body immediately the most important treatment is to use cooling blankets you can use ice cubes mainly in the central portion and there are certain medications which can be used in this patient so this patient should be immediately hospitalized and uh, can uh, and should be treated immediately so these are some of the common conditions which we encounter during the uh, summer season uh, moreover in the summer season there is increase in the allergic conditions excessive uh, pigmentation of the skin various skin infections as well as the upper respiratory tract infections so these are some of the common problems that we encounter during the summer season thank you sir so during the summer season uh, what are the things or uh, what are the foods that should be avoided or what are the foods that should be taken in during the summer season so during the summer season actually because of increased heat uh, the thirst increases so we see a lot of people uh, taking tea coffee as an alternative to uh, fluid or uh, he is taking uh, soft drinks as an alternative to water this is not a good practice because once we take tea coffee or other caffeinated drinks it actually causes dehydration by increasing the urinary output 
moreover if we take excessive soft drinks there will be excessive intake of this sugar and in turn this uh, excessive sugar will again lead to dehydration so the important thing is to drink plenty of uh, water uh, normally a female person uh, should take at least 3.5 liters of daily in uh, water and a male person should take at least 4.7 liters of water intake daily Moreover, if a, a person take ice cold water, there can be constriction of the blood vessels to the tonsils and it can lead to the tonsillitis or upper other upper respiratory infections. The use of ice creams as well as other sweetened beverages, these are also uh, should be avoided during the summer season. The, during the summer season, the most important thing to eat is the yogurt. The person can take uh, yogurt, uh, mainly unsweetened yogurt. He can increase the intake of the fruits, mainly the citrus fruits and the seasonal fruits, mangoes, the uh, uh, fluids which contain lot of water. Moreover, he can take uh, coconut water or they can increase the intake of the seasonal vegetables like tomatoes or the other vegetables that has plenty of iron, plenty of fibers and plenty of uh, vitamins. So uh, he can also increase the intake of the berries, intake of other uh, dry fruits. So these are some of the fruits which uh, foods which should be increased uh, in intake during the summer season. But the most important is the water intake. Uh, the water should be uh, taken in adequate amount. A person should not wait to, uh, to become thirsty because a person, be if he becomes thirsty, it indicates that he is already dehydrated. So a person should intake uh, uh, at least he should take one to two glass of water in an interval of two to three hours. So these are some of the foods that should be taken care of and that should be increased in intake during the summer season. Thank you sir. Uh, so during summer season we have seen a lot of skin problem. So we would like to know from you that uh, how can we take care of it? Obviously, this is a very important thing to be discussed because many of the skin problems, mainly infections and allergic conditions, it increases drastically during the summer season. As I have already said, for the care of the skin, a person should take plenty of fluid, plenty of fruits which uh, uh, causes the and which maintains the hydration of the skin which um, uh, gives the necessary vitamins and minerals that are necessary for the skin moreover a person should avoid the sun sign uh, sun uh, exposure mainly from 10 am to 4 pm because during this period the maximum amount of uv rays it comes in the sunlight uh, a person should uh, wear uh, loose clothes, mainly the long sleeve clothes, the cotton clothes that uh, which uh, helps in uh, come, uh, the, helps the sweat to come out easily. Moreover, for the skin protection as well as to protect the skin from the sun, a person should take uh, use sunscreen regularly. Those sunscreen which are broad spectrum, that is that it uh, protects both from UVA and UVB rays, as well as the SPF factor should be between 30 to 50. If a person has dry skin, he can uh, take cream based sunscreens or if a person has oily skin, he can use gel based screen, uh, sunscreens. Moreover, a person should uh, shower regularly uh, if, if possible can shower two times with cold or lukewarm water. Moreover, he should uh, increase the intake of the fruits, seasonal fruits and lot of vegetables to be taken to maintain the integrity of the skin to maintain the hydration of the skin. Thank you, sir. We have learned so many things today. I uh, hope the audience will like it. So at last, what you would like to advise to the audience? So summer season, it's a very uh, beautiful season because uh, people can come out easily without uh, uh, caring about their clothes and all. But uh, also it brings with it a lot of diseases, a lot of skin uh, allergic conditions, skin conditions. So uh, whenever uh, we uh, uh, encounter uh, such problems, immediately we should consult with the doctor. Another, it is seen that most of the people leave their children uh, in the car and go for uh, for a uh, sort. Uh, 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 he can go for shopping and all by leaving the children inside the car. He should abstain from such uh, practices because it is seen that during the summer season, the temperature inside the car it increases drastically. So never leave a child alone in the car, mainly in the summer season. 
it's better to wash the hand regularly before eating anything because it uh, risk of in infection increases dramatically during summer season it's better not to uh, take food outside because it may the food may be fermented the fermentation may begin and a person can suffer from gastroenteritis moreover the most important thing is to increase the water intake the alcohol caffeinated drink intake should be lowered or should be abandoned so these are some of the common tips a person should follow mainly in the summer season i hope this video will be very useful to you all please like the video share the video and subscribe the channel thank you